We have a special video for you today. We do. What yes. is it about? This is the new Pioneer CD player double D. Awesome. Stay tuned. So Pioneer just came out with three new uh, double DIN CD players and there are subtle differences between all three but for the most part they're they're based off of the same chassis. What separates them is what we're going to talk about first. That way you can decide uh, if it's a key feature that's what I want to buy. So first off you have the FHX730BS. BS stands for Bluetooth and in Sirius XM. Correct. Then we have the 731 BT, which stands for? That means it's Bluetooth. Only. That's it. And then we have the 830 BHS, which stands for? VHS. Huh? Yeah, I know. Okay, so Bluetooth, HD radio, and Sirius XM. So the radio is basically all the same. It's just a combination of one of those three things. So if you want Sirius XM, buy the S. If you want Sirius XM and HD, you buy the BHS. And if you don't want any of those, you buy the BT. So we're going to open one up and show you what comes in the box and talk to you all about them. All right, let's get to it. So let's open the BT. So we have power plug, the new Bluetooth mic, and the blue bag. A remote control, screws, screws, a warranty, yeah. warranty, and an owner's manual. And even the owner's manual tells you it's for the same radio. You know, it's all the same stuff. All right, let's take a look at the back of the radio. So to start out, we have the antenna input, the power plug input, the small hole on top is for the Bluetooth microphone, the big hole on the bottom is for the steering wheel controls. We have six channel RCA this year, this is new. We have rear, front, and sub. It's a six channel, two volt preamp output. Now the only difference between this model here and the other two is there's gonna be a port for the SVX 300 Sirius XM input. So the first thing it's going to ask you to do is set up the time. So you go ahead and set up your hours, click enter, set up your minute, click enter. New this year is speaker mode. These have graduated into the rest of the Pioneer Radio, so now they have standard and network mode. 99.9% .9 of you guys are going to need standard mode. So just leave it in standard mode, click enter. If you want to know more about network, we'll have a video just on that. So check it out. So we'll click standard and then we'll click yes. Quit. Yes. So now the radio goes into ready to use mode. We have a 50 watt by 4 CD player with USB on the front as well as aux on the front. Bluetooth radio with phone functions conveniently located on the left side. Your source button is also located on your left side. They've also added big buttons for your presets. You have six presets uh, with FM 1, 2, and 3. Your display button is located over on the right side, since you're not going to use it all that often. Your eject button is located on the top right hand side. You have a search feature, track, track up as well as station up and down here and here and of course your big main control volume knob right in the center okay so one of the nice features about this radio is it's two lines of VGA LCD display the other nice thing about this radio is it's 210,000 color variations for its dual zone uh, display it also has 10 levels of brightness with dimmer on and off to change the color hit this button here your main controller Go to illumination, select color, pick key color. You can pick a custom color for that. Click enter. Go to display color. Hit enter. Now you have two distinct colors. Nice new this year is also a white color. It makes it easy to see during the day. And then you can custom color these to match your dash. 
So Bluetooth is probably the most asked for feature on the market. Everybody wants Bluetooth, this has Bluetooth. This has amazing Bluetooth. It has Pioneer's wideband speech recognition, which means it has the most crisp, the most clearest call quality that Pioneer has ever offered. So that means when you're making calls, it's gonna sound great. It also has dual phone pairing. So you can have two phones paired to it at once. So if there's two people in the car, you can have both phones paired to it. If you're one of those guys that at work has two phones, one work phone, one home phone, you can have them both paired. And it doesn't matter which one's getting a call, it's going to ring over to that phone. If you need to switch between the phones, meaning you make a call from one phone to the other, it's real simple. Just press the phone icon here. The first phone that's paired will pop up. Hit it again. The second phone that's paired will pop up. So it's easily switched between both phones. Now if you have a phone that has voice dial, such as an iPhone that does Siri Ice Free, or your Android phone and you have that set up, you can easily just hold the phone button for three seconds. It's Siri will pop up and ask you what you want to do. Once she pops up, you can ask her to do all kinds of things. We have a ton of videos up on Siri Ice Free. Check it out. It's all universal. It all works the same. When you're done, hit the button. She'll go away. Now along with Bluetooth phone, it has Bluetooth music. And because it has dual phone pairing, it takes Bluetooth music to a whole nother level. So let's say you have a really nice library of music on one phone and you have a really good Spotify library on the other. You could switch between which one you want to listen to easily. You don't have to just one phone, one library. Let's say maybe that work phone has Spotify because work decided to pay for Spotify or for Pandora or something like that. You could switch over to that phone and your phone has lots of music on it. You can switch between the two phones. You don't have to unplug cables or anything like that. It's a great feature to have. A um, Couple other sources this radio is gonna have, like we said, Spotify control. So depending on whether you have an Android phone or an iPhone, it's either gonna be over USB or Bluetooth. It'll do Pandora control the same way. New this year is the ability to play FLAC files, uh, which is uh, all the rage for high, com high bit rate, awesome sounding music over a USB thumb drive. Now another universal feature that all the radios are gonna have is the new audio pack. As we said at the beginning, you have the choice between standard and network mode. Well, they also got all the other cool features that all the other radios have, such as a 13 band EQ mm -hmm. with five presets and two custom settings. You also got a front and rear crossover, uh, fully adjustable between with uh, 612 and 18 dB proactive slopes. You also got time correction. It's a big one now. These units all come with time correction, and with time correction comes speaker level control. So not only do you have balance and fader, you have the ability to control the level of each speaker along with the subwoofer. Um, you also have three level loudness control, so you have low, medium, and high, and off. You also have source level control built in, which is cool because that gives you the ability, if you're listening to a phone, let's say, and it doesn't have a really hot output, you can go in and adjust that level so that it matches all the others or compensates for the fact that it has a low level control. Now you're asking, hey guys, how come you're not showing us all these cool features? Well, we will. There's two ways you can access them this year. And depending on the phone you have, you have a new feature called ARC. Yep. ARC is a USB app that's controlled from the phone that gives you the ability to do a couple neat things. One of them is controlling the audio pack. So we're going to walk you through basic audio pack and then we're going to plug it in and do it over ARC. Access your standard EQ, you're going to hit the button, pull up menu, and go to audio. Hit enter. EQ, you have your presets, and then you have custom one and two. In custom one, you can pick your frequency, turn through all the frequencies, and then hit enter, and you can adjust the volume. And then when you're done, you can get out of there. Now, frequencies on this side are lower, frequencies on this side are higher, and the ones in the middle are for mid-range. You have your fader control, balance and fader. You have your subwoofer on and off. You have your speaker level. Now this is give you the ability to control, like we said, the level of each speaker. You have your crossover, you have your front, you have your rear, and you have your subwoofer. So you go ahead and turn it on, 
Turn it off. You have your seat positioning for time correction. You have save settings now, so you can save the settings. Once you've set this radio up, you can go in and save all your base treble, time correction, and everything. So that when the battery's disconnected, you don't lose any of that. You have bass boost. You have loudness. You have auto level control, which allows, if you're listening to pre-recorded music, it will try to auto level the music so it all plays at the same volume. It has three modes. Off, mode one, and mode two. Mode two is going to give you the most effect. Mode one will give you the least. And then it takes you back to EQ settings. So once you have your phone plugged in for ARC, go ahead and tap this. Tap audio. And it's going to show you your EQ. Here you can make your own EQ curves. As well as access the presets. And your two customs. Turn on and off subwoofer. Adjust the phase for the subwoofer, subwoofer volume control, bass boost, loudness, source level adjustment, your ALC, automatic level control, balance and fader, as well as advanced settings. Once in advanced settings, you can adjust your crossover, your level control as well as your slope. If you turn on the seat positioning or listening position you can tell it where you're sitting as well as turn on time correction. Then you can access it and you can adjust the distance you are from each speaker. And You can repeat the process on each speaker including the subwoofer. Another really cool feature of the ARC is illumination control. Here you can adjust your colors customly, make a custom color, you can adjust your brightness, as well as tell it what type of dimmer you want to use. In system it gives you the ability to, auto, to have it auto clock. Once you're in the ARC, if you swipe up, it'll allow you to pick what source you want to listen to. So let's say you want to listen to radio. Here's your presets. If you swipe down, it'll also list your presets. You can access the music on your phone. You can swipe down, go through your playlists, and pick songs. You could swipe left and it'll change tracks for you as well as if you put two fingers on it'll turn the volume up and down. You can also do Pandora and Spotify from here as well as some other music streaming services like iHeartRadio. So a couple more features that the unit has that are kind of unique is if you go into the menu select system and enter you can tell if you're gonna hook up your Android phone wired you can turn the USB on and off, set your clock, turn the beep tone on and off, turn the aux on and off, turn Bluetooth on and off, turn Spotify on and off. Clear your Bluetooth memory. And connect your phone. Now the last thing you're going to want to do after having all the fun that we've had with the radio is restore the radio back to factory default. This allows you to play with it as much as you want and then put it back to new so you can start over again. So let's take a look on how to do that. Press and hold the SRC button, hit the volume, turn the wheel, initial, system reset, click enter. 
click yes. All right, so we've discussed all three radios and the convenience of one radio. Yep. To recap, the difference between the radios is the BT is Bluetooth, the BS is <laughs> Bluetooth and Sirius, and the BHS is Bluetooth, Sirius, and HD tuner. Other than that, the radios all have the same exact features that we just talked about. So we hope this was extremely helpful, and this is a really nice upgrade compared to last year's versions of these radios. Definitely. So rock on there, good, 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 good job, Pioneer. And I can't speak anymore. Yeah. Wrap so, it up. Thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And as usual, we really appreciate it, you guys, if you'd subscribe. If you have any questions about these radios, like, hey man, will this fit in my car? Yes, go ahead and ask down below. We'll get back to you. It's what we like to do. <laughs> okay. Anyway, anyways. All right, guys. Have a good night. We'll see you later next time. Bye.